Hi, I'm Rick Kelleher from the Green Committee here at Blackhawk. This is Kevin Sullivan, Superintendent of Golf Courses, and today we are here to introduce you to the Goosenator. <laughs> what the heck is the Goosenator? So our Goosenator is our newest toy to deter geese from the property here. We've tried so many things. We've had flashing lights in the lakes. We've had lasers. Dogs. We've, we've had dogs. Coyotes. Coyotes. Anything and everything that we that we've had that we have, we've tried. And we've lost that battle, obviously. There's hundreds of geese throughout the property. And we purchased this goosenator roughly about a month ago. And we are seeing a significant reduction of the goose population, especially on holes one and 18 Lakeside, which we've really been tackling hard in the initial phase of this, this project. So let's see how it works. All right, the goosenator works on land and water. Obviously, geese, geese really hate it. And you don't even have to get that close to them and scare them away if we want to act as if this, this is a predator to the geese. So we're not necessarily chasing directly in line to the, the flock of geese. We want to kind of take a, a, a roundabout approach to, to get to the geese to chase them away. It's a very humane way, which is what we, what us as a green committee have decided that that, that would be best for us. And when you op operate it, you really just want to act like a predator that's stalking them. That's enough to get them flying away to relocate eventually to another property outside of Blackhawk. And the average goose poops uh, one to two pounds a day. Now we have hundreds of geese here at Blackhawk. That's a lot of cleanup and nobody likes putting through poop. All right, so there's the right time to use the goosenator, the wrong time to use the, use the, goose, the goosenator. The right time is prior to their goslings hatching and then there's molting season shortly thereafter. So right now in the month of May, June, July, it's gosling season, it's molting season. So what we have here on property is here to stay because they simply can't fly away and they're not gonna leave their goslings. So we're in this three month stretch that we, the goosenator is not gonna be as effective as uh -huh. it would be if starting August 1st is when they can eventually fly away, relocate, use the goosenator at the best of its ability at that point in time. I figure August 17th, no more geese. What do you think? You got it. <laughs> so the next time that you're playing Blackhawk and you say to yourself, hey, something's missing here. What is it? It's goose poop. Well, if that's the case, you can thank the Goosenator. Hey, remember, don't just play your golf course, know your golf course. Mm -hmm.